This is one of the uh, jaw screws mounted in the uh, in the collar chuck. Um, what I'm doing is this here has a 3/8 clearance, uh, a 3/8 distance from the outside ring to the outer edge of the um, the, the clamping bar. Um, so. Uh, this drive part here can't stick out too much further than the size of the disc. I, I still have to. Well, I have I have measured measured it, but I can't remember. I think I've got a maximum of ten millimeters or three eighths over the whole thing before I hit the bed. So um, no, it was it was. 10 each side so I I can go five millimeter five millimeters larger on the radius uh, so what I'm doing now is when I made the screws the flanges because I, I won't find it will I here we go these shoulders here these shoulders up here, there. I made them 2 mil and they were supposed to be 1.6. So I'm just I'm just trimming them back to 1.5, which means I've got to undercut the square down to 10 millimeters. So the the head the head of I can't find it. We go. This it's got to be able to go all the way home to the to the shoulder. Uh, it won't now because they're too long. These are are too long. I know that. Once I've got this sorted out, I then need three eight or ten mil sticking out for the drive. And the drive, how deep is? And the drive is one, two, three, fourteen mil, fifteen mil deep. So I could clean the end of that off because this is an old uh, three eight uh, socket extension. It's been used with a uh, a power ratchet, a bit damaged in the corners. I might just clean this up. Anyhow, I've got to. Knock the shoulder back to 1.5, undercut it down to uh, 10 millimetres, and then cut this off 10 millimetres. So let me get in there. That's it. over 10 mil so unlock that come over 10 my measuring device and I'll mark that or maybe even cut it off I don't think I'll cut it off maybe About ten and a half mil, that's pretty good.
Well, I've finished the four uh, screws. The end of the uh, shaft is being taken down to 10.5 millimeters. That's engagement for the key. That's the key end. Key. Um, this shoulder has been reduced to 1.5 uh, millimeters. That's about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, so what now? The screws should now be finished. I shouldn't have any more work to do on those. So the front plate not finished with. We still have more work to do, and that is to mount the uh, the bearings. Um, but the slots have been cut. They were supposed to be three quarter or twenty millimeters. I'm going to reduce, I have reduced the slots down to a little bit under 18 millimeters, about 17.7. Uh, why not 18? Arbitrary. That was a figure I eventually came out with. Um, but they're all roughly the same. Uh, only a, a couple of um, 0 0.02, 0 0.03 mil difference, 10, 12 thou. Uh, the, the jaw nuts they need to be worked on now there's a couple of things to do on the jaw nuts that shaft there is 20 mil so that's got to come down to about 17.3.5 somewhere around there I'll work that out once I get it in the lathe the the reason I'm making this 18 mil and not 20 is because the stock is 24 mil not 25 or 25.4 uh, gingery calls for one inch so 25.4 so this is 24 I've already lost 1.4 mil in diameter so I'm making up making this shoulder smaller if I retain this at the three-quarter mark so I'm what 20 mil mark so I'm reducing this to 18 mil to increase the shoulder size so that's got to go back in the lathe for that to be machined and also that position of this shoulder in relation to the plate and the center of the screw and the thickness of the bearing all right I'm back I've got four mil of packing there now that's uh, so there's no movement there so I can hold both parts down firm. And that's going to be 22 millimeters. So two mil can come off. I'll do about 1.8. And if I have to shim, I'll shim. We'll see how it goes. I'm back from the, uh, from the lathe work well back from the lathe work on right next to the lathe but I finished the um, I machined the first one so we've got a nice a nice fit in there now um, you may notice that is an extra large journal uh, I did I made the journals as um, gingery specified but I don't know what went wrong. The problem, it's five inches across there, and I've got, that's what it's supposed to be, and I've made it five inches across there. But these two screws, these two screws are going to be, well, that's an 18 mil slot, and those two screws are 20 mil, 20 mil apart from inside edge to inside edge. Um, so I've got to make new, new journals, bearing, bearings I should say not to worry so I've made one um, and I'm machined a little bit too much off about half maybe quarter of a mil but I think about half a millimeter oh well um, I've got to take now I've got to take I took off about half a millimeter too much off the screw um, nut so I'll have to take quarter to half a millimetre off the bottom 
of the bottom um, lower bushing uh, bushing journal um, because it's not it's not sitting square on me it's raised up just on the back there it will go up but it won't it won't sit level there so I'm a little bit too high with the uh, the, the bushing I'll have to machine the machine the bottom of the bushing off in the mill to compensate for that uh, the other side's not a problem as you can see it's a it's a good fit not, not too tight not too loose it's uh, sitting proud sitting proud of the surface which is what what I need because later on I'll come through and machine this to be about two thou above above the plate so another thing if you notice I've got one screw in at the moment that's in and tightened up don't uh, drill mark drill tap the second one yet leave that one untouched get the first one in and mine was slightly out of alignment not so much out of alignment but that journal wasn't lined up with the the slot so I just bumped it around a little bit until that that nut travels with ease no binding over the full distance and it's got to be the full distance because out here a little bit of play in things will compensate but when that's all the way in it won't must have been oh no. there's there's no room for error so it's still a bit loose which is good I've bumped this that's better okay so I can now spot drill the plate drill and tap the plate put the second thing in now this is this is this is critical here the overhang let's get rid of this for the moment I'm 10 millimeters in from the outside edge can't see that because of the light 10, 10 millimeters in from the outside edge and that boss is about another two mil outside that's okay because this plate is a hundred and sixty five and I can go to a hundred and seventy so that's another five mil, two and a half mil each side. So I can go two and a half mil. And that will still give me clearance to the bedways. About another five millimeters again to the bedways. Now you've got to measure this with the screw all the way out. If you have play. I have about three quarters of a millimeter play. Alright, I'm off to drill and tap the second hole <clears throat> you may notice there's a couple of minor changes here I've written the downside or the hub side on this side and there's no holes in this bearing uh, that's that's because a, it's very hard by hand to get the the hole positions to the center of this screw symmetrical in both axes so you've got to remember to <laughs> you've got to remember to assemble this on the correct side the underside of the plate the face the front plate come in from the underside of the plate to mount the hardware I mounted it on the other side and then realized um, that my four holes here 
didn't line up anymore because they're not perfectly uh, concentric. So don't make my mistake. Lucky enough I picked it up on the first one. So I've now got a, uh, a journal ready to rock and roll wherever it went. There it is. I've now got a second journal made uh, ready for the ready for the uh, the second one I'm going to put in so it wasn't a loss good thing I picked it up on the on the first on the first journal the first um, bearing block first hole is drilled getting ready to line it up for the second hole uh, just remember to run this in and out. It's a little bit tight at the moment. You need to run this in and out to get this screw aligned with the slot. not bad. I'll probably have to um, file the inside of the slots maybe. I don't know but it's, um, it's pretty good. I'll go over into the vise and uh, I think I can pick that up. It's moved. Yeah that's better. Yeah, the screw, the screw was still loose. Uh, and then I'll spot drill that. Now I've got everything uh, marked, this is number one journal, uh, number one position, so one in that, on those faces, this is so I maintain alignment, there's a single dot in there, the, the back of the nut has a dot on it, There's a dot, yeah, you can see that, a dot on the screw. Dots to the outside. That's better. I'm showing this because before when I tighten these bearings bolts, this would seize up. You now the other, the other thing I've uh, I've noticed either either the base or the base material base material is not straight or when I drilled this in the drill press the table of the drill press might have kicked or I wasn't square in the vise I'm pretty sure I was square in the vise but I don't know if you can see that uh, it's running slightly downhill so no, I can still re retain 6.2 up there looks like it there's a little bit of play in there Let's put, the let's put the nut in there and see what happens. Looks 
like I had to file just a little bit off the bottom bearing here, bearing piece. Anyhow, that runs pretty good now. I'm just going to file a little bit off the bottom. Okay, it's 456 and a half. I'm going to bring it to see you. That's number 2000, I think. The texture just gives me a guideline as to how I'm holding the file. Six and a half, we're seven and a half. At five and a half. Five. Come on. See how this measures up, works out. That's <coughs> that's the wooden pattern. I'm just using it to keep it off, keep this off the table because it's proud. Anyhow, this is now fitted. still may have to uh, do some adjustment up or down it's got a couple of one, uh, two places where it binds a little bit uh, but I think this will be okay it's parallel with the plate so the next one do the one opposite that's uh, three I've already machined that I haven't done the height of this shoulder yet I've done that. So I align this up ten millimeters off the end. If I get the lighting right. Anyhow, the second one's on, it runs nice and smooth. No need for further adjustment of the, the height of the, the, the nut or the bushing journal, whatever, block. So that's good, jaw four, which is this one. So turn that, turn that down to fit. I'll see if if this journal is going to fit now that I've got everything sorted out, but I don't think it will. Let me, I may have I may have to make another two um, bearings, wide, the wider bearings, because these are the smaller bearings, or I keep calling them journals, whichever way. Not so lucky on this third nut. The um, 
the clearance is not right. I found another way of um, working out the um, the position for this shoulder. Um, I've clamped. I've screwed into the uh, into the thread of the nut, clamped it in place, and then. So there's clay there. Still too much clay. Not only too much clay, but if I lock the thread, twist the thread down, there's still, still movement. Now it's, now it's held. I can hold it firmly, but if I release it, there's some play. So I need to take one millimeter, one metal, uh, cut this de uh, shoulder a uh, millimeter lower or higher in this case. So I'll we'll put that in the lathe and um, take another millimetre off that. This is the last of the uh, this is the last of the bearing blocks or the larger bearing bearing blocks. Just cleaning up. Just cleaning up the uh, edges left by the the drilling and reaming process. This this set has to be um, fitted. I've, I've clamped the nut down and the um, needs a bit of clearance so I've got a I have to mach uh, machine. I'll just file off a few thou from the bottom to get that a, uh, a, a nice fit. Okay, I'm a, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting the the last the last nut jaw nut ready. I've got a slight shoulder in that corner. I'll have to dive into that. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, this is the last one. It's back on. Um, I've just just put a little bit of tension, a little bit of tension on there. And um, it wants to it wants to work. Ten, ten and a half, somewhere around there. That's what I'm after. The alignment is good. All right. Over to the vice and uh, we'll just mark the one position and then drill and tap. Okay, that's drilled through. I'm just uh, checking the alignment of the, the screw and the nut in relation to the to the plate just nip that up so it can slide and this is clamped down tight of course there will be drag drag on this because the um, the nut has got a certain small amount of tension on it
I have to take uh, 0.25 I've got to take a quarter of a mil off that's about 10 thou the, the washer is because they stick through a little bit they still have to be mach machined down All right, let's drop this shoulder another quarter of a mil. Let's see how that runs.